Hi everyone, uh, today I'd like to introduce you to a new brand in Australia called Out and About. The model I've got today is called the Nipper. For those of you who don't know, Out and About is an English brand that's been around over 10 years. Uh, very, very well respected in England. Obviously, because it's new here, I um, expect you'll do some research. So check out outandabout.com and um, also uh, Google Out and About Strollers UK reviews and you'll find that all of the models um, win loads of awards, normally in the top couple of strollers in their class each year, which is fantastic. This one's suitable from newborn to 22 kilos, as is all models that I've shown you um, over the couple of videos. And um, despite the fact that you've got proper 12 and a half inch air tyres, heavy duty suspension, nice big seat, and lots of other features that I'll um, show you in a sec, this is surprisingly lightweight at 9.8 kilos. Now a lot of people tend to walk past this if they see it on the store because other brands that have got this sort of sturdy appearance and off-road capability are 12 and 13 kilos and obviously parents now want convenience um, so you know sub 10 kilos is really important. Width wise it's only 61 and a half centimetres wide which makes it one of the narrowest um, all-terrain singles in the market as well. Other brands that are similar weight, that sub 10 kilo weight you'll find that what they've had to do to get it under the weight is take a lot of features off. They've removed suspension, they've shrunk the wheel size, they've made the seat smaller, not without and about. So it's, you've got proper off-road capability without any compromise and you've still got that convenience aspect. So light enough to go shopping, small enough to put in the boot, in the car, boot of the car and if you want to go for a proper walk off-road across the park, it's superb. The ride on this, you have to push it to believe it, is incredibly light and, and, uh, and smooth. So let's start with the, um, the, the, the top here and look at the handle. It's got an adjustable handle, about seven, seven uh, angles here, which is really important because uh, often parents are different height. So you, you, know, you want to choose the optimum height for you so you're not bending or you've got your hands unnecessarily high. It's also got a nice uh, soft foam grip, which is great if it's hot and your hands get sweaty, much better than a rubber style grip. The reason they can use a foam and a rubber, unlike other brands, when you fold this, the handle doesn't bang on the floor and pick up germs and get Get damaged, it's uh, clear of the floor so it's, um, they're able to use a nice, soft, comfortable grip on it. At the back here you'll see um, we've got a little zip here and a Velcro window which should pre-open if Bubby's about to go to sleep. That's your ventilation and viewing. On the back here you've got your recline toggle, very simple system, squeeze and slide it up, pull down. You'll notice here with uh, the Atmodite stroller this is one of the flattest seats you'll find in the market. Most other brands fully reclined sit up something like that. So this is a really good, nice flat seat. It means it's suitable for newborn. It also means if you purchase the uh, optional accessory, which is the bassinet, it goes straight into the stroller without the hassle of having to take off all the fabric to fit it in the seat. And that's, believe me, something that you'll appreciate uh, down the track. Something also that's unique is when you put the seat up using that toggle, you can actually secure the seat really upright like that by just working that toggle all the way up. Most other brands, fully, fully upright, is going to sit something like that, from see side on. You think that's fine, wait till your child sits at six, nine months and they're sitting there and they can't see out because they're seeing the side of the stroller. By lifting it a little bit further forward, they've got much better visibility, they can hold the front bar and they'll be uh, a lot happier uh, during the ride. So that's a very unique and important feature. Moving down the back here, you'll see there's a pull string basket, seat back basket, and that goes all the way, it's quite large, to the front. So that's perfect for your lightweight stuff, your baby care, nappies, things like that. And then at the bottom you've got your normal basket. So um, typically what you do is you put baby care and your, uh, your handbag underneath where it's nice, nice and safe. And there's also storage on the canopy I'll show you shortly. At the back here you'll see we've got two independent heavy duty spring suspension to show this thing is a proper off-roader. And so if you look at other models, other brands um, in this weight category, they don't have the suspension, they don't have the big air tyres, so it's not going to push and ride anywhere near as well as this. Also for uh, storage, if you want, there's a lever there, you can lift it, pull your wheels out, quick release, and out and about also does have, for those people who want extra light, a 10 inch wheel, so if we look at the size difference there, 12 and a half air, 10 inch solid. So obviously solid tyres are never going to uh, go down or need maintenance, however, 
it's not going to ride as well as air because it hasn't got the same level of give. But if you put it on the kit, and there's obviously three wheels in the kit, it takes one and a half kilos off the weight. So this comes down from 9.8 to about eight kilos, which is incredible for a, a, um, a stroller of this, this nature. Just take those off. And that, that wheel kit is purchased separately. So all three are together and uh, it's very simple to put on as you see. Finally, the back here, you've got a really good park brake. Push down to lock, hit the top to unlock. Now, that's really important because if it's summer, and you've got open toe shoes on, you can do it quite easily, even if you've got no shoes on if you're at the beach. There's a lot of other brands, you can flick it on, but when it comes to turn it, take it off, you've got to use your hand because it's so stiff and you can't use it with an um, open toe shoe. Let's go around to the front, have a look at the top here. Now, the hood is um, a good size, and you'll notice a really cool feature on the side. You've got two zippers, and in those, a little hidey pocket that's perfect for your phone and your keys, your things you're going to need throughout the journey. So two storages there, seat back basket makes it, you know, one of the, the sort of best strollers in terms of storage, storage on the market today. There's also a little pocket, probably didn't notice there. Now you'll notice the hood on the outabout's quite flat, probably familiar with hoods that tend to bubble quite high. The reason uh, outabout does that is outabout seats tend to dip away a bit here and that creates extra headroom. So if we put it forward and I lift the seat up, you can see we've still got good headroom. So don't be concerned that because that's flat, your headroom is not there. It's actually not the case because the seat drops away. Moving into the seat, we've got um, removable liner, which is included, which is great because a lot of other brands will charge you for a liner. Velcro it on, take it off, hand wash it if it's dirty to save you having to spot clean the stroller. There's obviously a five-point harness with nice uh, padded shoulders, nice padded crutch with nice features, fully adjustable with three different heights from newborn up as a child grows. There's a hinge front bar which is included yet again. There's a button on the side, you lift or open it. You can hinge it either way or you can take it off completely. Now into those holes there would be where you uh, attach the bassinet if you purchase that. Or you can also buy maxi cosy uh, car capsule adapters which you pop in there. And again, because the seat goes so flat, you don't need to take all the fabrics off to use the bassinet or the maxi cosy. Just put your seat flat and you're away. Now, um, there are some people out there who like to go undercover. And if you don't want your brand to be on show, this strip here, you can actually unscrew it, full Phillips head screws, flip it over and you've basically got no branding there. Down onto the foot uh, plate, nice heavy duty plastic foot plate. The idea there is um, obviously kitties climbing in and out, dirty shoes, it's easy to keep it clean. Other brands use a fabric which get dirty and also uh, get strained and stretched over time. And finally, onto the front here, you've got your quick release wheel like a bicycle. Pull that lever down, anti clockwise, drop it out, and then to put it back, wind it a few times, bring it up. Now you only do that if you really want to make your stroller compact and use maybe the out and about travel bag, which is purchased separately. Swivel wheel and a lock if you're on a really uneven terrain. Okay, so onto the fold. Um, the out and about's really easy to fold. All you simply do is bring your seat forward, lift up some levers on the side, get a little red button there to release the frame, and down it goes. Hood goes down, and then give it a squish, and you can see it's locking on the side there. So it's 61 and a half centimetres wide, quite narrow, and obviously you can take wheels and things off if you want to make it um, more compact. You'll notice again, how I said uh, with the, the out and about nipper double before, when you uh, fold the out and about, it's all done sort of hinging open and folded, so there's no real lifting until it's time to go on the boot. So you can see I'm holding it with one finger, and to open it, similar, separate the frame, just gently lift the handle to you, and again, I'm not lifting any weight, and fasten it down. A lot of other brands out there, when you fold them, you've either got to hold them until you put them away, or you've got to fold them flat to the floor and then bend right down and pick them up. The fold on this is actually great because it's designed not to break your back. Okay, so um, to sum it up, if you want a super versatile stroller that's light and compact, you can use it for shopping, you can use it for walking, it's, um, very, very durable with a two year warranty. The out and about nip is the one for you. There's a full range of accessories um, available separately, and it's just a fabulous stroller. As I said, it's the lightest in its class with these features. Don't be fooled by it, it looks deceivingly large, but it's actually compact and narrow, and uh, we recommend you give it a push because it pushes better than anything in the market. 
So that's the uh, Out and About Nippo. For more information, check out outandabout.com. Again, uh, look at the reviews and you'll be amazed how fabulous the reviews are. And if you've got any questions, you can drop us an email. Thanks for watching.